But if we don't make a distinction between all the different layers, the, the covering, the tippy top of the covering, the beef, we're just going to think we could rub something on and Cindy Crawford is going to tell us to rub something on and we'll be, have great skin like her French plastic surgeon says. But if we make the distinction between these three layers, the dead stuff at the top and the, the epidermis or the covering underneath that and then the dermis underneath that, we can be more effective with not only our topical skincare strategies but also our internal strategies if we're dealing with a skincare issue. Nobody has to have a skin health issue because of the, the rapidity, the speed with which the skin turns over. Anyway, we'll continue talking about that tomorrow. Time to hit our phones. 844-236-6010. Let's go to Pennsylvania and welcome Mindy to the Bright Side. Good morning, Mindy. What's up? Good morning. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's going on? How can we help you? Well, now, neither of these, neither of these things are chronic. Um, just the very occasional um, little acne flare-up that is always hormonal when it does happen. Like right around the time of the um, month, like a week before you have your period kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, and okay. it's not all the time, but that's always when it happens, if it's going to happen, and it just did, and I sing tomorrow night. And <laughs> What are the breakouts? What the kind other- of breakouts? Well, let's, let's stick with this for a second, Mindy. What do the breakouts look like? Are they rashy? Are they, pimp- are they individual pimples, blackheads, whiteheads, cystic? Um, I, I usually get, like, one or two big zits. And where okay. would they be? Like, where, on your face or back or chest or all over? On or? my face. No, nope, they're on my uh, face. Where on the face? Um... Usually um, on the left side, just okay. um, cheek. Sometimes on my chin, but sometimes just a little to the left. Kind well, you notice how I'm asking you all these questions, and I'm asking you these for yeah. a reason. And by the way, whenever somebody asks, uh, calls me up and has a skin, skin issue, especially acne, these are the questions I always ask. Where they appear on the face, because that's indicative of the type of acne that you're dealing with or the type of, the type of health issue you're dealing with. Where on the face, what they look like, what the pimples look like, and if they're cyclical and if they appear on the back or in the chest. Those are the main things to ask because your answers are going to indicate or are going to tell me what kind of biochemical breakdown you're dealing with. Now, the fact that they're cyclical and that it happens just a week or so before your period tells me it has something to do with estrogen and progesterone. Right before you get your period, or about a week or so, or five days or so before you have your period, you get a, a drop in your pro- progesterone and your estrogen. They drop sharply. And this is why people will break out, this dramatic hormone change. The best way to keep that from happening, Mindy, or anybody else who's dealing with a hormonal breakout that's related to your menstrual cycle, is to focus on fats and fat digestion and fat absorption. That means intaking fats, essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs. If you're not on them, you want to get on them, 9 to 12 a day. And then fatty vitamins, especially vitamins A and E and D. D is the best place to get your D is from the sun, and just sunshine alone can make a difference, Mindy. I know. Where in Pennsylvania are you? Probably in, are you in uh, Pittsburgh or somewhere? Pittsburgh. I'm close to, close to Hagerstown, Maryland, so. Okay, so you, probably, you get enough sun, right? It's not like you're out there in, the, in uh, the hinterlands, like Pittsburgh or Mars or somewhere around there. But, you, you know, you get enough sun, go out in the sun right before your period. Get some sun. Don't be a heliophobe. And that will help, number one. Get yourself good. That's good. Get yourself on 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day especially, uh, well, all through the month, but especially that last week. And then also uh, use topical vitamin A, retinol. Look for 5% retinol. Get on my website, truthtreatments.com. Get the 5% retinol and just dab it on your skin. One of the advantages to using retinol for premenstrual or menstrual uh, acne is you get anti-aging benefits as well, and you get nice skin smoothing benefits as well. Anybody who breaks out, in an ad- uh, adult who breaks out, if you use retinol, not only will that help prevent the breakouts, but you'll also get the anti-aging benefits of the retinol. So start applying that retinol balm on your skin, or retinol gel on your skin, uh, twice a week or so, and then you can even dab the retinol right on the blemishes. Make sure you're taking 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day internally, and then 50 milligrams a day of zinc. We haven't talked about zinc internally in a while, but we will because it's absolutely incredibly important for hormonal acne and for all skin issues. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. See if you can, uh, uh, if you notice any digestive health problems, especially around fats. If you're not digesting your fats or absorbing your fats, if you feel bloated or, or just uncomfortable after fatty foods, if you have loose stools after fatty foods, all these are indicative of malabsorption issues, and this can be compounded by problems with sugar and fructose. So if you notice any digestive health issues, you want to correct those. Probiotics 
good bacteria are very, very important for helping the body handle estrogen and handle fats as well. Uh, uh, not just estrogen, but fats, dietary fats. So getting on the bioluminightly essence can be helpful too. So you want to focus on fats, fat absorption, fatty vitamins, and then topically, uh, topical vitamin A in the retinol form. And you're lucky it's occasional. A lot of women break out every single month. So you know, consider yourself fortunate. Well, I, used probably- to, I used to break out a lot more before I changed my diet. I'm the Mindy that called in a couple weeks ago. You did, and did we, I don't with remember, the, but did, did we fix you up? Well, did we take I, care with, I had, well, I had fibromyalgia and okay. my website, and yeah, so I'm, I'm a health nut. <laughs> How you doing? How is everything working for you? Did you take it, take any, I don't remember what we told you. Probably told you the same thing, right? Well, I, Fats, I fatty didn't, vitamins. I didn't actually, well, I didn't actually call for advice that time. I called because you asked about the Nutribullet. Oh, okay. But you had fibromyalgia, but you don't have it any longer. I think I did check out your website when you called. Right. I'm, I'm like, I'm not always pain-free, but I'm certainly much better than I used to be. Doing fermented yeah. foods and probiotics and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I do probiotics. Okay, so just so you know, and I'm going to let you go. Protein. Just so you know, I'm going to let you go after this, but this is important. Fibromyalgia, occasional hormonal acne are linked. And they both have that estrogen component and the fat metabolism component. And if you want to do one last thing, and then I'm going to let you go. Progesterone cream. If I, I probably told you that before, but in case I didn't, progesterone cream for all estrogen issues. Progesterone helps balance out excess estrogen and helps, uh, helps protect against estrogen breakdown products, as does vitamin A and vitamin E, for that matter. Thanks so much for your call, Mindy. Appreciate it. Right, thank you. Day. Take care. Okay, Anasa in Texas. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Good morning. Thank How's you for taking my call. Sure, what's um, up? I'm calling because I have a 24-year-old that her hair is falling out, and it's in okay. patches. It's bald in patches. Okay. And is it a boy or girl? It's really discomforting. Boy or girl? Oh, a girl. A girl. Okay, and Anasa, i got to take a break. And ask, I got to take a break, but when you come back, get on a different phone or, or take me off speaker or something because I'm having a hard time hearing you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Dr. Wallach has been warning us for decades to take control of our health care and our food supply. So Foods and Dr. Wallach's Longevity have partnered to help you be prepared. Members of Longevity can now buy Go Foods directly from their personal store. If not yet a member, call 800-648-9753 or on the web at www.storefoodnow.com to get special member pricing. That's 800-648-9753 or www.storefoodnow.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins, but did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and 
auction your products and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BitBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are GCN. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Anasa in Texas. Anasa, you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me oh, better now? Oh, yeah, much, much better. Much, much better. Okay, okay thank so, you. So I heard you yeah, had a... Go ahead. 24-year-old. She's uh, kind of stressed out with her master's and working. Um, her hair is falling out in okay. patches, bald patches. It's That's very disconcerting. Good. And she also has, uh, it, it seems to come at stressful times. And also sure. um, acne breakout on the uh, cheeks and a little bit on the back. And That's poor primarily kid. during stress. Now oh, this poor kid. You know, that's very interesting you say during stress, and, and that's exactly what happens. You know, when we say stress, when you and I talk about stress or when we have colloquial or kind of conversational discussions about stress, we talk about it as if it was just something that's bugging us. But to the body, stress is survival. Stress is some kind of survival threat. That's what stress really is. The body feels like its survival is at stake. And when the body feels like its survival's at stake, the last thing it could care about is the hair, or for that matter, the skin, really. The hair and the skin are the first, uh, first parts of the body to, to, manifest, or to uh, manifest the effects of stress. Because to the body, the heart is important, the lungs are important, the digestive system and uh, the internal viscera, the internal organs are, are much, much, much more important than the hair or than the skin. This is why hair will turn gray, fa uh, hair will age faster than other parts of the body via grayness, and, and hair will fall out when we're under stress, etc. So obviously, we've got to control stress, but that means control the survival threat. So there's a couple things that will uh, induce a survival threat, certainly psychological issues, mental issues, emotional issues. Those are very important. I'm not going to get into those. Those are more psychological kinds of things that, that you're going to have to, that your daughter's going to have to deal with, and maybe you want to help her with that, but don't marginalize those things. Those are important. From a physical perspective, there's lots you can do. The, the number one cause of survival threat or stress to the body is the digestive system. So I will tell you, ma'am, and I think, uh, Anasa, is that your name? Anasa? Anasa. Anasa. What's your daughter's name? Mm -hmm. What's your daughter's name? Kelly. Okay, Kelly. I, can t I can guarantee you Kelly is dealing with some kind of digestive distress. Can't happen that her hair will fall out without that, especially if she's breaking out on top of it. So you're going to have to get to the bottom of that. You're going to have to figure out what the heck is causing that digestive distress. Leaky gut syndrome, which is a fancy way of saying stuff getting into the blood through the digestive tract, is behind almost everything. And patching up the intestines are very important. The way you patch up the intestine first is you eliminate any assaults, and that's food. 
So have her do a food diary, see if she can link problem foods or link foods to specific uh, digestive issues. That's usually the easiest way. Or in her case, she could link foods to, to uh, uh, exacerbations of her hair falling out or to her breakouts. Then those are going to be foods she wants to eliminate. Then she has to start using nutrition for the digestive system. There's no nutrients for the hair. No matter what you hear from anybody, there's no nutrients that are specific for the hair. But there are nutrients that are specific for the internal part of the body, especially the digestive system, which in turn will help the hair. Now, hair, uh, uh, the uh, hair growth is related to the female hormone estrogen and also related to the thyroid. And both of these are connected to fat malabsorption, especially the estrogen component. So when you're looking at foods, especially look at fatty foods, 